Welcome to TV3. We're at the Bicentennial right here in downtown Buckhannon. And we have something special we want to show you in just a minute. I have with me Dennis Cordes. Most of you will know we've worked together for a long time with the TV3 filming and doing all kinds of things. Dennis is starting a new venture very soon. He's going to be doing a railroad. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it, Dennis? Sure. Um, the Buckhannon Upshur Railroad is the name of the company. It'll be dining service between Buckhannon and Elkins to tie in with and cooperate with the Target Flyer and Points East. Tonight's uh, events that you're going to watch are sponsored, co-sponsored by the number one auto uh, uh, sales lot uh, which is a real good service there. Uh, that's where I get my used cars from. And also the Buckhand Upshur Railroad, my new company. The name of the train will be the Burline Limited. I keep looking over there because I got a model of it. We'll show you in a little bit here. The dining train will, the, my dining service will be catered by the, by the 88 Lounge and Restaurant right behind me here, say. So that's why it's on display here. And uh, we're going to promote the 88 Restaurant as well as the Buckhand Upshur Railroad and the uh, Bicentennial. And the, the neat thing is you're sponsoring something special for the Strawberry Festival. And it, it's Friday, Friday night, which is today, May the 10th, and we're doing Strawberry Friday at Jawbone with all kinds of strawberry things to eat and to purchase, along with a lot of things as far as music with the middle school jazz band. And we have the Preserves, which is a good band coming in for mm -hmm. bluegrass music. We also have something else special, and you're part of a sponsor for that. We're right. going to have buggy rides, horse and buggy rides. Horse and carriage rides around town tonight. I'm going to put my family in a, in a, in a carriage, because I've got to pay for it, you know, but that's normal. And we'll have the camera rolling as we uh, get, uh, get right around town to be behind a horse. And, uh, and it should be fun. We Stick just we really appreciate the sponsorship of you and uh, Number One Auto and helping us to bring to those who cannot come out and see all the activities. Welcome to TV3. We're in another location out on Route 20 as you uh, go towards Sheets. We're right across from uh, the donut shop. And this is Auto Sales, number one Auto Sales. Shay Phillips is uh, the person that, that you want to talk to when you come here. Their phone number is 304-472-1101. And they're at Post Office Box 2011, Buckhannon, West Virginia. Their fax number is 304-472-5617. Or you can go on driveondown.com. And they like to take care of the family in car sales as well as some repair work that they do here. And we're really appreciative of them to sponsor the horse and buggy rides that are going to be here Friday night. And we also have Strawberry uh, Friday at Jawbone. So we thank them very much for supporting our TV3 programming and the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. We're taking a carriage ride through yeah, town and uh, yeah, I brought yeah. my, my new wife and my two grandchildren with me and everybody on the wagon is uh, comfortable with being on camera. So we're going to show you the, the country here, the, the, the ride. There's my grandchildren and uh, my wife and all the other victims. Uh, p p uh, never mind. <laughs> Three. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. The lady's oh, five, 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 five,
This is the first frost tonight, folks. Hello, young man. Young lady. We've never taken a carriage ride before on camera. Oh. Let, let's see if this works out, eh? Right, Kyron? This is Kyron, this is Walker. What? But you don't seem impressed, Kyron. He, he's really impressed with me. Before I forget, folks, I want to thank Number One Auto Sales for uh, sponsoring this uh, program, as well as the new railroad we have in town, the Buckhannon Up for Railroad. I want to thank them both for co-sponsoring this, uh, this program. If you need automotive work done, check them out. Check out the Number One, or buy a car from them, they service what they sell. And the railroad should be online here in another year and a half or so. Okay. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, there you are, buddy. Yeah. High five. Give me five. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're doing something. Yeah. There's the horses. What's he worried about the horses? Got a question. Yeah. Do the horses have names? Oh, I didn't hear one. Still learning that one. Yeah. Do the horses have names? Hold this time. Yeah. Billy. This old Billy over on the right. Yeah. And that pep on the left. Who? Pep. 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 Yeah, you know, like salt and pepper, pep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. She Thank you for. Pepper, look. She got any salt and pepper when she's dry. She's a little wet today. Oh, okay. She's been riding a lot of people today. Well, thank you for a good ride. We're going to sign off, and thank you folks for watching. Okay, thank you. You all have a good time. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with the Star Spangled Banner, so if you would please rise for that at this time.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sandra Bennett, and I am the president of the 78th West Virginia Strawberry Festival. Uh, this isn't my first time. I was president in 99 and 2000, and I was crazy enough to come back on again and do it this year. Uh, I want to welcome you all. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, there's a lot of things planned if the weather cooperates with us. There's horse and carriage parade tomorrow, concert down on Spring Street tomorrow night, uh, bar backyard barbecue on Sunday with another concert on Sunday evening. So if you all have nothing to do this weekend, we have something for you to do. Um, I hope you have a great week and the weather holds out for us. And if there's anything we can do for you, stop in the Strawberry Office and we'll try to help you out. And thank you for coming this evening and thank the Tenerton Council for taking on this project for us this year. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Good evening. Uh, my name is DJ Stout. I'm the director of the Buchanan Middle School Jazz Band. This is only the second year that we've had a jazz band at the middle school, and this group has impressed me every step of the way this year. Um, we're going to start off with a song called All of Me, and uh, some of you may recognize. <laughs> Stark on the trumpet. While we are navigating the new terrain of outdoor playing with uh, uh, clips on our music stand, uh, I'm going to buy, buy them some time. We're going to do a really popular tune, Come Fly With Me, uh, popularized uh, you know, in the big band dance era. Um, we try to play different styles of music. Uh, we've done some Latin, some funk, blues, all over the, the jazz idiom. And come fly with me is the next one that we're going to play. Thank you. Uh, you should have zoomed in on him. Whenever somebody's talking, zoom in on them. Or like if only a handful of people are playing, zoom in on them.
The next tune is a uh, is a tune called uh, a Neil Hefty tune uh, by the name of Cute, which I think you'll probably understand why it's called that. Uh, it's going to feature our drum set player, one of our drum set players, uh, Lexi Field, on the brushes. She'll have some feature on that. So this is Cute. Yeah, can you put the tie on? There? The next tune is uh, called Killer Joe, um, which is in a different style, and even in a different style um, from what we just did. And we're going to hear from a couple different people. I'll announce them as they play because I can't remember who they are right now. I know Garrett Matern's going to be one of them. Um, but this is Killer Joe. Thank you. 
heard from Anna Grace Lance on the tenor saxophone and Garrett Matern on the trumpet and Aubrey Bozik on the bass. On the we, have a, we have a trombone player down, so I'm kind of running around on some of the parts that aren't covered, so that's why we ran back and played. Also, it's just fun, you know, to, to play. We're going to do a, a, a song entitled Caravan, which is a, a Latin style of, of jazz music um, that's very energetic and I think you'll enjoy. So this is Caravan. from Josh Gregory on the alto saxophone and Juliana Stark on the trumpet again. Our next tune is one that we had a lot of fun learning to play, listening to the great uh, Count Basie Orchestra, um, trying to model our sound and our approach after them, and it is called April in Paris. There's a surprise in this one also. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, you heard from Garrett Matern, Juliana Stark, and Elijah Carr on that last tune. Give them another round of applause. <clears throat> We're going to do a blues for you, and it's called Blues by Five. It's one that we've used. <laughs> they don't like it. <laughs> it's one that we've used a lot for uh, working on improvisation, which is a, is a fundamental part of jazz music, uh, and something that a lot of us have had a lot of fun working on. Um, so you're going to hear a lot of people improvise on this one. Uh, Blues by Five. Gregory on the alto sax, Reese Leonard on the trumpet, and Elijah Carr again on the tenor saxophone. The, the next one, I think they gave it to me as a joke, but we're going to do it. 
Um, <laughs> we learned this tune. It's not necessarily a jazz tune. Uh, we, we learned it for a pep rally earlier in the year. They, they, uh, one of the teachers at our school said, can, can the jazz band play for the pep rally? And I was really excited. They were doing such a good job. I said, yeah, sure. Um, so I got this tune that I'm not going to tell you what it is because you're all going to know it. Um, not jazz, but we had a lot of fun learning it, and you know it, we've had it for a while now. But uh, something I still I hope that you'll enjoy. So here. You go. They're still getting ready. They've done a really good job at that. I remember as a student uh, doing these jazz band runouts in, in high school and struggling immensely with the, with the clips on the stand. So they've actually done a really good job. It's the first time they've, they've done that. Um, the next tune is called Time After Time, not the Cindy Lauper tune, unfortunately, maybe, or fortunately. Um, <laughs> our lead trombone hurt his wrist, so he wasn't able to make it tonight. Um, and he, he and Garrett Matern have a, a feature on this. So Garrett's going to do it by himself, and he'll be fine. He'll, he'll do a great job. Um, and you'll hear from a couple other soloists on this one, and uh, time after time. Mm -hmm.
I talked earlier about the different styles that we've worked on, the different jazz styles. Um, you've heard a lot of swing tonight, uh, some Latin. Uh, we're going to do a funk tune next um, that's very heavily inspired uh, by Chameleon, if you've heard of that tune before, uh, by Herbie Hancock. Um, and this is called Funk Zone. Again from Elijah Carr on the tenor saxophone and Jessica Williams on the trumpet. Give them another round of applause. We have one more tune for you. It's a blues um, entitled Blue Train uh, by the, the late great John Coltrane, one of the most iconic, prolific jazz tenor saxophonists ever. If you haven't heard of him, look him up. I listen to John Coltrane tonight. Um, we've had a, a real pleasure playing today. We appreciate the opportunity by the uh, Tenorton Community Council and the Strawberry Festival. 
We hope you enjoy all the other festivities this week that are sure to be a lot of fun. And uh, come check us out sometime next year because uh, this is our last performance. Uh, how about another hand, of, hand for these fantastic young musicians? Some of them, it is only their second year playing their instrument. So I think that's a great accomplishment. And I have to bring them up one more time. I know you're tired of clapping now. Um, <laughs> uh, but I would be remiss if I didn't brag them up for, uh, uh, the, as the first ever uh, jazz group from Bacanatra Middle School to attend the Northern Regional Jazz Festival, which is basically where we go and play a few tunes for some judges. They received straight superior ratings. So they've done a great job this year. Uh, you're going to hear from some other people improvising again on this tune, and we hope you have enjoyed our performance, and thank you, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Genevieve Gregory.
Caden Lawson on the trombone before and Elijah Carr on the trombone. And a great slam. Band. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. 
There's a new white note on a gift by post that a man put up yesterday. And when we saw it, we all ran out just to see what it had to say. And when we read it, our eyes filled tears as it fell to the cold hard way. Something about the closure, something about the mortgage, something about failing to pay. My daddy stopped talking The day the farm was auctioned There was nothing left to say Like a blow to her precious heart And every number the auctioneer called Another thing was sold that day Till everything was auctioned We stood there watching Why the Lord didn't haunt it away And on the post by the general store They put up a little sign an auction sale after tomorrow at the end of Lincoln Line. Thirty years of farming and thirty years of farming and thirty years of day to day. My daddy stopped talking. The day the farm was auctioned, there was nothing left to say. Stop talking The day the farm was auctioned There was nothing left to say Everybody out there We are the Bluegrass Preserves Band Over here to my right From Weston Greg St. Clair On the band All the way on the right over there Is Mickey Lincoln He's from Philippi we won't hold that against you. Richie here, our banjo player, Richie Jones. He comes from Gilmer County, Glenville, right? And me, I live right here in Buckhannon, but I'm not really from here. But I'm Pat Brooks, and we are the Bluegrass Preserve Band.
And we're going to get Mickey over here to sing one. song nobody ever requests. Okay, this one I refer to as a uh, half-eaten calf. It's how I remember it. Believe me, it works. We just gotta wait for the banjo player. You know, there's a lot of banjo jokes out there, in case you don't know. And all of them are true. They are all true. <laughs> they are. But what do you, um, now, now you, you recently got married here a couple years ago, right? Yeah. See, now, what do you say to a, a banjo player without a girlfriend? Or what do you call a banjo player without a girlfriend? What's that, Pat? Homeless. But he got married, so we don't have to worry about him sleeping out in the, in the weather anymore. So anyway, go ahead, kick us off. Yeah, you can tell I was just starving out there by myself. I just yeah. couldn't take it. <laughs> Kentucky here? Well, I was going to dedicate the song to you. We'll do it anyhow. Valley 
Neath the mountain so high, the sweetest place in all the world. Now, in a cabin with the vines or the door, that's where I left my Kentucky girl. Kentucky girl, are you lonesome tonight, Kentucky girl? Do you miss me? Does that old moon shine on the blue grass? It did all the night she first kissed me. so you know he can sing. It's a banjo player that sings. It's a, it's, a rare, it's a rare oddity. That's right, folks. Always remember to read the fine print in your contracts. <laughs> it might include a banjo player. Dude. 
cartwheels, statue wearing hot hips. Look at all the hot dancing on the lawn. This dinosaur in love. This tuba goes.
Well, one thing about bluegrass, in case y'all don't know, bluegrass is probably uh, about the only music in the world that you can you can uh, sing about killing, cheating, stealing, robbing, and in the next verse sing about Jesus. But, you know, we love bluegrass. <laughs> but if you listen to some of the words of these songs, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, in case you are unfamiliar with bluegrass. Personally, myself, my, I, I was raised listening to, uh, my dad listened to Conway Twitty. My mom listened to Zeppelin. So I was kind of a mess. I still ain't sure what I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> Watching the sun bake See all those tourists covered with all On my front porch string Strumming my six string Smell those shrimp there beginning to burn Wasted away Don't know the reason Stayed here all season Got nothing to show But this brand new tattoo It's a real beauty Mexican cutie it got there, I haven't a clue. Wasted away again in Margarita. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people. Stepped on a pop top, ouch! Cut my heel, had to limp on back home. But there's booze in the blender, and soon it will render that frozen concoction that helps me hang on. It's all Mickey's fault. Yes, I know. It's my oh, own darn fault. Yeah, stay fucking up. Does anybody else have a 
anybody know all the words to this song, Country Roads? Nobody's going to say they do, I guarantee it. Nope, don't know them all. And I phone John Denver. Lama's tail was Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah. Life is old there. All my memories gather round her Mountains lady, stranger to blue water Dark and dusty, painted on the sky Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye in English vocabulary is is that the banjo player's Porsche sitting outside I have a set of banjo picks in my pocket not because I just like carrying around banjo picks but because I play banjo so I'm allowed to make fun of banjo players having been there there's a pretty weird thing that happened here uh, in Lowe's the other day there's this uh, this like thing about banjo players and unless you play a banjo you just don't know what I'm talking about but it's kind of weird I mean it's like it's it, it's sort of like the way flies are attracted to like a garbage truck so uh, so I'm sitting uh, I went to Lowe's and and I'm, I'm looking for some screws right and then all of a sudden here comes a banjo player that I know so we're in aisle two looking at screws talking about not banjos but <laughs> soon enough Another banjo player comes along. All at one moment. Like I said, it's just like a magnet. It just draws us together. And so, as banjo players, we are thick. We are. We stick together, don't we, Richie? Yeah. Because we take a lot of beating. But while Greg's trying to figure out the words to a song, I should be probably just start singing Ramblin' Man or something by Bob Seger. <laughs> Here's a song we've never played before. Most of them are songs that we've never played together before. Shade the road, my little 
Miss Shady Grove, my darling Shady Grove, pretty little miss, I'm going back to home. Well, I went down to Shady's house, she asked me in for supper, but I stuck my toe on the table leg and rubbed my nose in the butter. Well, Shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove, my darling Shady Grove, my little miss, I'm going back to home. And she commenced to spoil it. Well, Shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, pretty little miss, I'm going back to Margaret. dark and cloudy and every time that I see that gal she always hollers howdy Shady Grove my little miss Shady Grove my darling Shady Grove my little miss I'm going back to really loves another but I'm gonna marry her when she turns 12 this summer oh Shady Grove my little miss Shady Grove my darling Shady Grove my little miss I'm going back to heart Still a lot of things. 
things I'd like to see. But it is hammer that I swing, or the woman that I hold. Well, one's gonna be the death of me. Hey, hey, tell the man, why do you treat me this way? So if you knew, if you listen to what that, that words of that song are, I mean, basically he's using his big spike hammer to get even on her. Not, I mean, he's right in the head, right? So, you know, he's talking about, you know, getting even someday. So now we got to sing a Jesus song. Well, I am a poor, wayfaring stranger. Journeying through this world alone. There's no sickness, no toll or danger in that broad land to which I go. I'm going there to see my father. I'm on 
Welcome to TV3. We're at the Bicentennial right here in downtown Buckhannon. And we have something special we want to show you in just a minute. I have with me Dennis Cordes. Most of you will know we've worked together for a long time with the TV3, filming and doing all kinds of things. Dennis is starting a new venture very soon. He's going to be doing a railroad. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it, Dennis? Sure. Um, the Buckhannon Upshire Railroad is the name of the company. It'll be dining service between Buckhannon and Elkins to tie in with and cooperate with the Target Flyer and Points East. Tonight's uh, events that you're going to watch are sponsored, co-sponsored by the number one auto uh, uh, sales lot, uh, which is a real good service there. Uh, that's where I get my used cars from. And also the Buckhannon Upshire Railroad, my new company. The name of the train will be the Burline Limited. I keep looking over there because I got a model of it. We'll show you in a little bit here. The Dining train will, my dining service will be catered by the 88 Lounge and Restaurant right behind me here, say. So that's why it's on display here, and uh, we're going to promote the 88 Restaurant as well as the Buckhand Upshire Railroad and the uh, Bicentennial. 
And the, the neat thing is, you're sponsoring something special for the Strawberry Festival. And it, it's Friday, Friday night, which is today, May the 10th, and we're doing Strawberry Friday at Jawbone with all kinds of strawberry things to eat and to purchase, along with a lot of things as far as music with the middle school jazz band. Mm -hmm. And we have the Preserves, which is a good band coming in for mm -hmm. bluegrass music. We also have something else special, and you're part of a sponsor for that. We're right. going to have buggy rides, horse and buggy rides. Horse and carriage rides around town tonight. I'm going to put my family in the, in the, in the carriage, because I've got to pay for it, you know, but that's normal. And we'll have the camera rolling as we uh, get, uh, get right around town to be behind a horse. And uh, that should be fun. We Stick just we really appreciate the sponsorship of you and uh, Number One Auto and helping us to bring to those who cannot come out and see all the activities. Welcome to TV3. We're in another location out on Route 20 as you uh, go towards Sheets. We're right across from uh, the donut shop. And this is Auto Sales, number one Auto Sales. Shay Phillips is uh, the person that, that you want to talk to when you come here. Their phone number is 304-472-1101. And they're at Post Office Box 2011, Buchanan, West Virginia. Their fax number is 304-472-5617. Or you can go on driveondown.com. And they like to take care of the family in car sales as well as some repair work that they do here. And we're really appreciative of them to sponsor the horse and buggy rides that are going to be here Friday night. And we also have Strawberry uh, Friday at Jawbone. So we thank them very much for supporting our TV3 programming and the West Virginia Strawberry Festival. We're taking a carriage ride through town and uh, I brought my, my new wife and my two grandchildren with me and everybody on the wagon is uh, comfortable with being on camera. So we're going to show you the, the country here, the, the, the ride. There's my grandchildren and uh, my wife and all the other victims. Uh, never mind. <laughs> This is the first for us tonight, folks. Oh, young man. Young lady. We've never taken a carriage ride before on camera. Oh. Let, let's see if this works out. Eh? Right, Kyron? This is Kyron, this is Walker. Yeah, a rookie. What? You don't seem impressed, Kyron. He's rarely impressed with me. Yes, it does.
before I forget, folks, I want to thank Number One Auto Sales for uh, sponsoring this uh, program, as well as the new railroad we have in town, the Buckhannon Up for Railroad. I want to thank them both for co-sponsoring this, uh, this program. If you need automotive work done, check them out. Check out the number one, or buy a car from them. They service what they sell. Got it, didn't you? <laughs> and the railroad should be online here in another year and a half or so. Okay. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. That was fun. Hey, uh, buddy. Yeah. High five. High five. Give me five. You like it? Get one of them. There you go. We're doing some fun. Yeah. There's the horsey. What's he worried about the horsey? Got a question. <laughs> Do the horses have names? Oh, no, I didn't hear one. Still learning that one. Yeah. Do the horses have names? Hold this time. Yeah. Billy. This old Billy over on the right. Yeah. Pep on the left. Who? Pep. 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 Yeah, you know, like salt and pepper, Pep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you for. Pepper, look. She got salt and pepper when she's dry. She did a little wet today. Oh, okay. She's been riding a lot of people today. Well, thank you for a good ride. We're going to sign off, and thank you folks for watching. Okay, thank you. Y'all have a good time. <laughs>